I'm Scott. Today I'm going to show you how I made this Christmas ornament shadow box on Dad It Yourself. Many of you know I served in the United States Navy for 20 years and recently retired back in 2020. So this project today, um, what I did is I mocked up a simulated shadow box on an eight and a half, eleven sheet of paper using graphics that I got off the internet of the commands I was in, the ranks I held, the medals and awards I earned, and a photo. And then I took it and I printed it on photo paper, but I shrunk it down to three inch square. I have two of them here because I'm going to make two of these. So what I need to do now is build the frame of the shadow box so it matches this three inch by two inch roughly square. So I'm going to use my small seven and a quarter miter saw to cut the wood I'm going to use to make the box. And I'm actually using a paint stick. I don't know if you see that. So I've measured out, I need two long pieces that are a little over three inches and two short pieces that are a little over two inches. So I'm going to use the bandsaw to just cut these pieces out. They're really small, but this is a really small bandsaw. And as long as I keep this square edge as the outside edge, this inside edge doesn't have to be that, that good. I can uh, clean that up with the sander next. Okay, so I've got my two tops and my two sides, and I'm going to go ahead and glue those together with Starbond and some accelerator, and I'm going to use this little squaring jig just to keep those edges square. So I cut these pieces of plexiglass out on the bandsaw and then snuck up on the line on the sander so that it would fit in here and this would serve as the glass. And I have to do this one first because the next step is, so here's the little simulated flag and that wants to sit on the front right up by the glass in this corner and I need to measure off this corner. So I have a piece of scrap right here already where I've cut a bevel in and I'm just going to make sure that I've cut that to length. Looks about right and then the height I need for the back. All right, so I sanded those down on the belt sander and a little hand sanding to get all the edges flush and get any of the markings off that were left over from when these were um, paint stirrers. So now I have to stain this. Some dark walnut stain from Varathane here. Got a little hook. And I am just going to dip it in there. Get it down in there nice. Make sure it gets all, all in there. There we go. I'll let that dry for a second and then I'll wipe it off. Okay, to go ahead and trim this out uh, both around the front and along the back, I've got this self-adhesive um, edge banding from FastCap. And I'm just going to throw a little stain on this to get it the right color, and then we'll trim that in. A couple of things so you understand what I'm doing here. Uh, Plexi's in here, the little blue triangle just helps me keep it oriented to know which way it is. And my edge banding has dried. So what I'm going to do now is peel this 
what this is going to do is this is going to hold the plexi in place. So let me get that peeled right there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put it just a little bit past the edge of the plexi. And come back a little. It doesn't need to be that far. Put it like that. Oh, it's sticky. And then repeat that on the other side. And then we'll take the box and we will press it back down in there like that. And then take a razor blade. We're just going to carefully cut it along that edge there so that comes off. It's a little more. It. We'll flip that over. Do the same right along here. That. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece, I'm going to lay it over here, like this, and then this one over here like this. Go ahead and flip that over again, cut all that excess off. Now I'm going to take a very sharp, I'm actually going to clip this off so I get a sharper point. I'm going to cut these at a miter. Get that out of the way. I'm going to peel those two pieces back. So I'm going to do the back the same way I did the front. Um, if I would have had a larger piece of veneer, this would have been easier, but I only have this edge banding. So I'm going to use four pieces of edge banding to build a back panel. So I got my photo, and it's just a matter of putting these on the back so they provide some spacing. Okay, so as you can see now, my back, the photo on there. So before I put the back on, I've got to put the flag in. You want the flag actually to sit on the front of the box. So I've got some little pieces of uh, blue felt here, and I'll just stuff those in there to kind of give it some pushback. Keep that flag up there on the front. Then take our back. Hopefully we can line it up right. That looks about good right there. Oh, flip it over and line it up. Okay. It's sticky. So right like that. Push that down, and then we'll trim those edges off. So the last thing I need to do is drill a little hole in the top so I can put a hook in it. There it goes.
Well, there she is. Three inches by two inches. Christmas tree ornament. Came out really good and only took me about two and a half hours. It actually took longer to do all the layout on the awards than it did to actually build the little box. So if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, put those down below. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you do, hit the bell for notifications. There's some videos right here you may be interested in, including the subscribe button. Hey, thanks for watching. Dad it yourself.